Hello, good morning everyone. Uh, I'm Scott Harris and I'm a state health officer and it's uh, my pleasure uh, to be with you this morning. It's not always uh, often that we have a press conference to talk about good news uh, around breast cancer, but that's exactly what we're here uh, to do today. Um, we, uh, I think, all um, know someone or have been touched by someone who's been affected by breast cancer. And if you haven't uh, been personally affected yourself, uh, it's something that matters a lot to our lives and to the people we know and we care about. And one of the most important things we know about breast cancer is that early detection is what saves lives. If there were one thing that we could change, we would want every case, if they had to happen, to be found early. And we know that survival rates for cancer can approach 95% when detection occurs early. But unfortunately, uh, many people are not screened early. Detection does not always occur at that early stage uh, when people can most benefit. The Alabama Department of Public Health has established the um, Alabama Breast and Cervical Cancer Early Detection Program uh, in the 1990s. Uh, we uh, uh, screened uh, thousands of women uh, for uh, breast cancer and also for cervical cancer. Uh, we uh, have uh, found nearly 3,000 women uh, with cancer since this program uh, began and continues to be a major part of our public health outreach in the state. We absolutely could not have this program without the help of the Joy to Life Foundation. And, and I'm here uh, to welcome uh, Joy and Dickie Blindheim today. And Joy's going to speak to you in just a minute uh, and, and uh, do a much better job than I'm doing in speaking to you, I'm sure. Uh, but we are, are so grateful to the work that they have done. That Their work truly saves lives of, of people here in Alabama uh, every day. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, I, I just can't overemphasize how much we appreciate all that they've done for us. And and they have for many years been our partner in helping to screen women uh, in the southern part of our state. Uh, and now they have made available, offered to make available funding that will allow us to, to increase our screening throughout the state, throughout the entire state of Alabama. And this is just a tremendous, uh, a tremendous thing for our state. We are, we are so excited to be able to report that today. Uh, we uh, care so much about the women in our state who are uninsured or underinsured, who don't have the ability, perhaps, or the resources to be screened. And through the work of, of Joy to Life, we know that many of these women will have access uh, to early screening that they would not otherwise have had. So I, I want to just uh, do one quick plug to, to those who are listening. Please remember that you need to be screened uh, just like in a non-pandemic era. You know, one thing about COVID we know is it's disrupted a lot of the ways that many people seek their routine scare routine care, uh, like uh, uh, screening tests and, and routine office visits. Um, we're worried about the health outcomes uh, because of COVID that aren't related to COVID, because many people are putting off appointments, they're putting off their mammograms or, or pap smears or other things that would be just sort of routine care. And so we want to encourage uh, all women out there to continue to do those things. Reach out to your provider, reach out to us at Public Health. We absolutely uh, have ways to make sure that those are done safely and properly. Uh, because we want everyone to continue to be screened as well. So at, at this time, I'm going to uh, turn this over uh, to Joy Blindheim. It's our pleasure again to, to have her and, and Dickie here with us today. And thank you again so much for all you do for the women in our state. Thank, thank you, you, Dr. Harris. Thank you, thank you so much, Dr. Harris. Um, as a 20, almost 24 year breast cancer survivor, I absolutely know the importance of early detection and self-exam. And that is exactly the reason that in 2001, we partnered with the Breast and Cervical Program. At that time, I'm not sure we exactly knew what we were doing, but somehow here 20 years later, we went from maybe doing five mammograms for the Breast and Cervical Program to being responsible for thousands of mammograms. And we will continue to make that happen in the state of Alabama as long as we have one dollar in the bank. We want to thank Nancy Wright, health department nurses, and everybody in between that has been so supportive of our program. It has been a joy to work with them. Um, we independently of the public health of the breast and cerv cervical program have for many years throughout the state of Alabama provided mammograms for women under 40 as well. And just this year here in 2020, even during COVID, we have for women under 40 done already 1,100 screenings, um, spending a total of 
a little over $200,000 for those women. And they get breast cancer too. So in addition to the fine partnership with Breast and Cervical, we're happy that we can also reach out to these women under 40. Um, we're working right now with um, actually two young women, 22 and 24, right here in Montgomery County that have breast cancer. So we cannot ignore those women either. So um, we will continue to do that. We will continue to screen men when they need us. We're working right now with three men that have breast cancer. And that's a lot because we know that men do not get breast cancer like women do. Um, we hope that the northern part of the state will get to know us. Um, we look forward to knowing them. For the, for the health department nurses that perhaps don't know us yet, we very much look forward to our connection with you. It means so much to us to help the women of Alabama that cannot sometimes help themselves. So we take it day by day and we will work as hard as we ever have to make all of this happen for our great state of Alabama and to help women and keep them alive and keep this is life-saving and we're going to continue to do this as long as we can so Nancy Wright thank you so much it has been wonderful We'll uh, be very glad to entertain any questions, if there are any questions. Okay, great. Well, we, we must have covered it very well. Um, listen, th thank you again for being here. This is just a tremendous day for us. We're, we're so excited to uh, partner with Joy to Life. They've been such great partners for so long, and now the amount of good that, that they do in the state just continues to grow and grow, and uh, it'll affect the lives of so many uh, women and men in our state, but so many people in our state that we know or that we care about. And again, just let me sincerely thank you. Thank you. Appreciate thank it. You. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you for joining us today, everyone.